Let's speed through this there part of the quest. The Orin laid on the... What do you mean? Obviously not. I'm no adventure. I don't know if Granny told you this, but Smaragdus Jade, I... if mere mortals come and miss your chow, did you have any? No. Hmm. Now that is, if I have deduced correctly, he may still have this. If that's the case, we should go confront. Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. And then he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. He would lose nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be experience talking. Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of... Well then, since... Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you... Huh? Does there have to be a contract for it? Feels like Yansei is even more concerned with them than a certain someone else we know. Yep, that's where we left off. John Lee. She's referring to John Lee. These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been pro bono advice. But for me to investigate any further, I require a written contract. Pro bono advice. Any work commissioned advice. but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take it, Miss Yunfei. No problem. Just sign here, and I'll sign too. Okay. Now write your address here, and then sign on this page as well. And I'll also need your signatures on pages five, seven, and on the very last page. Finally, if you could just use this ink pad to make a handprint. <sighs> this contract has so many pages. Paimon's all out of brain juice again. <laughs> well, you are cute. All right, that you do it. Baby. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through and let me know if you have any questions. I've had a read through. Everything checks out. Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. Not for now, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will actually be quite straightforward to resolve once we've got some things squared away. I don't believe you have been part of an investigation like this before, in which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. Ooh. I have to ask, why are you helping me? Because, as it happens, I'm currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus Jadeite myself. I noticed strong traces of geo-energy around Mr. Crossel, so perhaps he has, in fact, secured some. Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter, but either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be able to get our hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite. Also, the idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage, I won't stand for it. But again, mm. let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... Hmm, where can we find someone who processes ore? Ah, I've got it. Let's pay a visit to Chateau, the boss of the J. 